one from top ten is straight up not on the ladder. Fuck that! <laughs> and welcome everybody to that wonderful intro by Jester. Rest in peace, Porn Horn account. And uh, I'm joined by other best friends name as well. Ever. <laughs> oh, you did not hit record as he said that. That's so unfortunate. I hit record. I've said a lot worse than videos, Kiwi. You have no idea. Kiwi, on the 700 you should have been videos around when I was doing YouTube I deleted like, because I was afraid of Kappa strikes, um, I can 100% assure you that this man has said three times as worse things. <laughs> no, no, this man wasn't here during my own channel. I did a Nuzlocke and caught a Chen Chow, right? And I went, fun fact, if you hack this into Generation 1, the Pokédex description says when this Pokémon gets horny, it sticks that light up its own anus. Anyways! <laughs> <laughs> it's been nicknamed Butt Light ever since. My match against Justin Nut, shall we? Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't run away yet, because you can get more beautiful limes like that. Also, check out the links in the description. It helps support the channel, uh, and as well as myself. Now, this is a battle between Kiwi and Justin Nut. I wish Justin Nut was here right now to explain why he brought the combi again, but he's not. So we're going to have to... <laughs> It's not the only thing I want to hear him explain, but yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Explanation as well. Man's got a carablast and brings combi. Yes. 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 Why did he even, did he even bring carablast? Yeah, he brought carablast in like two battles. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why did he even draft it then? Yeah. Now that was this the was uh, yeah that was the freest rapid spin in the history of history. Rock slide comes out, nearly knocks out Rotini. But unfortunately, it screams Rotini. Yeah, right. Can we just talk about the fact that I, since I was mixed Kabuto, he set up light screen, so I got the rock slide off to to be able to do this. Yeah, yeah that was. Now I thought that I was like, oh my god, that mixed Kabuto just puts in so much fucking work because it baited him. Yeah. Right. That, that, that was flinch crazy. There. I don't know a hundred percent if the flinch mattered. Um, so. Right, I, he said he was going to kill me with Specs Poliwag after that point. I'm Sash. All it would have been is afterwards I either got up rocks or I got a hit on the Aeron. Oh, yeah. That it was just, it was I picked one of those two instead of getting both. Yeah. Yeah, I think Justin uh, definitely misplayed this battle. Uh, and here we have the Scroopy Tech. Brick Break, I don't need your screens because I saw in nearly every single game he played before this there were screens, so I was not having any battle to the Aeron. I was gonna say, I said that in call, I was like, see, that's the advantage Kiwi has about having not built in time, is you got to look and see what people bring all the time in Calvary. Yeah. Which I, I obviously, I feel bad for that, I do not intend to. Well, no, um, it's not necessarily a bad thing, like, it's still public knowledge, like, even when we do the battles the same day, people can still technically change their teams to build around it, but yeah. I think, I think Just Nuts' problem here was building similar things the whole way through. More so, because, yeah. like, I built different things for everybody. So you can't necessarily just predict, oh, I'm just going to bring this set. Now, for for Binnacle, you know what set I brought to damn near every battle. Yes, that's, I. But that's because that's say, the only set it, it runs, ever. <laughs> it, it's, it's the idea of one-dimensional Pokemon. If it's got a job it does fantastically, just bring it for that job. For example, Darmanitan. If it's no. one-dimensional, do it. If it's multi-dimensional, don't repeat sets. It's the biggest handicap you will ever put on yourself. Because as soon uh, as you make a multi-dimensional Pokemon one-dimensional, you fucking shot yourself in the foot. People know what it can do, and it's just lost all value. At that point, you might as well just got a one-dimensional mod that had a higher base stat total. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, I, I just want to quickly ask, since you both were in call at the time, what noise did Justin up make when the combi hit the wall again? Uh, I was not in call, and I he was not... he was on def. No, he, he, we were in call. He just deafened himself for the battle. We didn't hear it. I'll oh, that's... a nice imitation of the note. <laughs> that's probably what, what? it was. Um... <laughs> not when he missed with Combi. Oh, a hundred percent. That's the noise he made. Yeah, I. Looking at this game as a whole, I definitely was very confused around multiple parts of it, because despite the fact that when he had three Pokemon left, he had a Togepi, a Mantike, and a Combi. Two Flying-types and a Fairy-type against a Scroopy. Why'd he send in the Fairy? 
Uh, you know, you've got a great I point, and I, I think at that, that point, I think at that point, he had given up on the match. In all honesty, yeah. I, watching it towards the end, it definitely felt like Just Nut went. Well, I can't win anyways, and was just trying to get it over with faster. Yeah, yeah you I know def- what I mean. I definitely think the flinch affected his mental more than anything else. Like it didn't. Yeah. It, obviously, it changed the battle a wee bit. It definitely chucked it a little more into my favor, but I don't think it was as severe as That's it was. First- <laughs> Yes, I, I, I don't understand why. And then setting up a nasty plot in front of it, you just hand this battle. He essentially handed me half of his team for free. Yes. By the time my Kabuto had killed two of his Pokemon, it had taken no damage. No. Um, the Aeron's Berry Juice had been used, and like so, the the Poliwag, um, although that one wasn't intentional, the Dratini was chucked at me for no point, and the Togepi was all chucked at me just to die. Yeah. Like there, there are several parts I got confused during this battle, but I'm I'm sure when he builds an actual team for finals, it'll be completely different because that will not have a combi. Yes, that was what I was actually about to say. He could have just brought a complete BS team, thinking you might get into finals with him. But I mean, even then, that was a risk from his behalf because if I decided to throw against Flam, then I could have then Flam would have been in finals. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was very close for finals. Like, there are five players of me, you, Bomber, Justina, and, uh... Flam. Flam. I think I said all five. Whatever. Um, it, it, was us five. Him, but... it was us five who were damn near neck and neck tied to get into finals, so it just came down to head to head to head because that's how I did it this season. Yeah, which is, that's more than fair. We, we did have the discussion at the start, so it wasn't like a last-minute decision. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I, I just didn't feel like doing differentials this time, because that's too much work. Um, I was going to say, differentials is amazing and the proper way to do it, right? But when you have time issues and everything like that, it's easier and simpler and wiser to just say, fuck differentials for one season, sorry. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Plus, this was more of a trial season to see if I could do this later, like another trash tier everything. And I can, and I can improve upon it significantly, which I'm happy about. Anyway, that's going to be all the time that we have for this video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. And we're going to see all of you in the next video that we do. Take care, everybody.